welcome back to Smoke and Gnome Barbecue. So today we are going to do a tri-tip. We're gonna smoke one on the Weber, but we're gonna do a reverse sear. So I'm gonna go over the whole technique. Um, got the tri-tip here. The very first thing I did was brine it. Salt brine on all sides, covered everything. About 15 minutes uh, and then rinse really good pat dry. So that's what I did right now. So. And then we'll go through the steps of seasoning this before we put it on the grill. The grill is uh, warming up right now. We'll get it to about 275. And then we're gonna look for an internal temperature on this at about 115 degrees, cause then we're gonna sear it for two to three minutes uh, each direction on each side after we're done. So we'll probably get a temperature of around 125, 127 degrees. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'll get out of the sun here. So this is what we'll do. Uh, first off, while this had marinated, we're gonna take this device. Uh, Amazon has them like uh, eight or nine dollars for a pair. There's a white and a black one. And uh, these work amazing. So tenderize this all the way through. That's a good secret here. Get those holes, get all the way in there. Tri-tip is not the most delicate meat in the world. So, let's help it out a little before we season it and get all the parts. Get that side, and then we'll, looks pretty good. Flip that over. This would be the fat side, which is been trimmed pretty good, pre-trimmed. These were on sale, so, which would be fine because this will cook really well. Usually I like a fat cap on the bottom a little better, so. Yeah, but you can trim it off. Boy, this thing's really grisly right here. And this will relieve all of that. There we go. All right, easy peasy. Now, best seasoning in the world. AP or salt, pepper, garlic, whatever you want to call it. Just call it good. We are going to cover the whole thing. Front side. You don't have to pat it. Or that was the back side. And front side. All corners covered. All right. And that's it. That's pretty light, actually. Then to top it off a little bit more, I just like a little extra more pepper. So let's. Uh, Gosh, I'm breathing hard because I'm moving around. All right, so it just looks better too, but it gives a little extra heat. And and it's all to taste. You don't have to have the pepper. It's just a recommendation that I really like. And I like a lot of pepper, but you still want to taste this meat. Tri-tip tastes so good, so. And that's it. We'll flip this back over. She's tender. She's seasoned, and we'll wait for the grill to get up to temperature, and we'll put it on. All right, grill's up to temp. Um, this side, which is right above the coals, because it's going to be an offset. When I open this up, you'll see it. This is about 350. Um, if you measure the heat on this side, that'll be about 275, 250, right around there. So she's up to temp. So when I take this off, you'll see it's offset. Then. Put the fat cap down and let's uh, clean this off a little bit. Ah, it's just remnants from the, the old barbecue. Good deal. Then you take your tri tip, the fat side down, which on this one isn't that much, and we'll put it right there. Now, what I like to do too. Actually, we'll move this. Let's put this heavier end, thicker end side, at an angle towards the, the hotter part of the coals. That way, it'll, as it moves through, it'll go real well. Now, take your wood chips, and I'm using apple, and put them on top. And I use this one big one, because that'll burn pretty soon. And just put the lid back on. Now we wait. 
Also make sure your vent, make sure everything's closed up tight. Your vent is on the opposite side of where the coals are on your offset and you're good to go. Two hours later. All right, let's check the tri-tip. It's been a couple hours. Looking pretty good. Let's see what this temp is right here. All right, just about perfect. Okay, so one, 120, so a little hotter than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. So now let's get this going here. We get some more coals in here. Looks like this, this is gonna burn. We can put this somewhere else. Let's get these, we'll get these coals hot. Put a couple more in there. Oops. Get this on fire. Let that burn a little bit. Put this back in there. Now it's smoking pretty good. All right, we'll open that up to get this hot. And we'll get these other coals burning a little hotter. Smoke isn't gonna hurt nothing. Hopefully that'll take off pretty quick. And we'll wait for that to get nice and hot and we'll rotate this around. Let's move this over just a little bit. That's perfect. All right, let's wait till those get hot. All right, we got these coals nice and hot. So I moved this uh, side tray over underneath just a little bit. And then all you gotta do, is position this in the end, is rotate this bad boy. That's it. We'll get this over to the side where we can sear it. And we'll cook this away and put some good marks on it. We'll do this fat cap side first. And we'll probably hear it sizzle here in a second because those coals are nice and hot. And we'll do that for about two minutes on each side and uh, we're done. Oh, there it goes. We'll get a good uh, char mark on here. Oh yeah, you can hear that sizzle. Let's, uh, let's tune into that a little more. There we go. Oh, that's good. And then take your time on this. You're not gonna overcook it. You just wanna put those nice char marks on the outside and seal that. So we got all that good flavor inside. We'll keep it there. What a great day to grill. I can't believe it's the 9th of October and it's like 78 degrees out here in Western Washington. We're getting some good weather. I'm sure the rain's gonna be coming and then these barbecues have to be put away, but in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of it. All right, that's going perfect. We got some excellent char marks on this side. Flip that over. Oh yeah. Get a little more char on this side. Move it around. That's what we're looking for right there. Looks really good. Good hot coals. Super simple. And uh, what I like about the Weber is you don't, on the offset, you don't have to use many, many coals and briquettes. So uh, just control your burn and it'll maintain the temp and do everything right. Oh, there we go. Oops. There goes my aluminum foil. this is done so the next step after this is we're gonna take it over to the aluminum foil wrap it and uh, let it rest for a while before we cut it
All right, now I got that aluminum foil weighted down. Let's, uh, let's bring that uh, char tri tip over. Oh man, look at that. That's perfect. Oh, what a beauty. All right, we're gonna wrap this puppy up. We got it to about 130 degrees. A little more than I wanted it to, but it's gonna be absolutely scrumptious. Bring that in. Always let it rest. I like wrapping it this way. You can use butcher paper, you can use aluminum foil. Just wrap it up, seal it up, let it rest for about 10 minutes before you cut it up. And let's uh, transfer this thing in the house. All right, let's see if we can cut this thing. So tri-tip goes a couple directions. This grain runs this way, and then it changes, and then it runs this way. So we're gonna cut all the way up into here, and we'll just cut here, 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 and then we'll cut different here, 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 here. So let's see what happens. these about oh pinkies width it's good good sections here oh they came out perfect we get one more out of this one now it looks like we can get two more out of this one there we go now we can turn it this way grain goes the other way now This cutting board doesn't stick to the table. Looks like I'll have to make one. One more cut. All right, perfect. There we go. The ultimate try to look at that. All right. Let's see if we can get a taste test going here. Do the tip. Cut out of the way through. There we go. Cheers. Oh. Nice and tender. We got a salad and some potatoes brewing up, so stand by. Alright, here we go. Air fried potatoes. We got our tri-tip and uh, some fresh garden salad and topped with blue cheese. I mean, what, what doesn't go any better? Doesn't go any better with steak. So the smell of this, I wish you guys could <laughs> smell it. It's so good. I'm gonna try a piece right here. I cut a piece a little thinner and see what happens. Mmm, oh, so tender, still juicy just the right amount of brine mm. Mm. that doesn't get any better we got some good potatoes got some good salad mm. Weber barbecue I'm telling you that's where it's at and your favorite cocktail Krogu says cheers oh life is good everybody Life is good. Hey, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.